my beautiful Libra dragons, welcome to your full moon reading for July the 24th. Um, it is a full moon in Aquarius, and we are in the Leo cycle. We just started Leo. So um, what it, this full moon really is about, it's about creating a balance between what we um, give to others and what we give to ourselves. So where you are in that, we'll, we'll see what happens from that. But it's a finding a balance. So maybe you've been, you know, really drawing in and taking a lot of time for yourself. Maybe it's time to start balancing that by helping others. Or maybe you've overextended yourself and you haven't been taking enough time for you. Okay, so Leo is about, you know, the you. And the Aquarius is about, you know, overextending yourself, the, the them. So um, what we've come out with is, your overall, it's funny, you pulled out three full moon cards. So this is like, whoa. Um, so you have surrender to the divine. Don't let pride get in your way. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. So what I feel like is that, um, I feel like you could stop the cycle by trying to be over controlling and trying to do it. Right, so full moon in Leo, it's funny because we have a full moon even though it's in Aquarius, but we have the Leo energy happening. So, and that can sort of cross over. And it's just to make sure that, uh, you know, this is a really about surrendering to the divine. So if you find that you're, um, you find that you're stuck in a situation um, or it's not moving, right? And it's just, you feel like you keep getting dragged back. Um, you need to go within, okay? You need to sort of pull your energy back and move into that space of just sort of having faith. So can we please get some... Let's get a little story going here for Libra. Let's see what's happening. For Libra. For the full moon. Remember full moon energy... Um, usually happens a few days before, a few days after. Um, yeah, I got some cards here that are you know, I'm being nagged to move that card back. That's where that has to go. It's so funny that that happens. It's too many. Come on. That's good. That's only two. Okay. So, Libra, let's get an idea of what's happening here. So your Ten of Pentacles comes out in reverse. So you've had um, some sort of major loss. Um, it could be um, financial. It could be that you're feeling lonely. It could be just stability, right? And so now pentacles or coins is about um, material possessions and wealth, but it's also about health and work and career and money. So anything that helps you sort of survive on the earth, right? So um, something got sort of turned upside down for you and it's not, um, it doesn't have to be financial. It could be just something that sort of rocked your world on a very unstable way. Um, it doesn't have to be love, but it could have something to do with work or even something to do with, um, it's not a, well, we'll see what other cards come out, right? Yeah, you have your Knight, Knight of Pentacles is sideways. So it's almost like, and this is what I was trying to find the words for, and it's funny that this has come out. It's something has rocked your routine, um, your practical side. It's sort of rocked your trust, right? So it's everything that's, um, and it, it still could be love, we'll see. Yeah, you have your seven of cups in the reverse. I don't know who's, a second, let me just see what's coming up. Who's coming in here? You have your Six of Cups in the reverse. <sighs> you're very, you're just stuck. 
your six and seven of cups is in reverse. You have your king of cups in the reverse. <clears throat> it seems like you've been blinded to this whole situation, right? Um, and then you have your nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, so you've been going through a lot of um, feeling hopeless, a lot of um, torment, and it's all because of this king of cups in reverse. So you have somebody in your life that's sort of been... Um, um, it, it's it's an emotional and that's it's a it's an emotional sort of um, manipulation, right? Somebody's been very moody and volatile, and they sort of <clears throat> attack you in a way that um, look, this is you. It's like they've been just putting up boundaries. Okay, swords are about communication and intellect. It's like they've been sort of mentally attacking you and binding you right look you've been like having nightmares right and yeah it's all because of this person they completely thrown you off guard maybe i don't know who this reading is for but please make sure that you um with this i would definitely say um make sure that you seek um if this is your reading um please do go and seek um an abuse counselor because this this these all say that it's um and it's messing with your mind right and that's like the hardest part to get over is to um move away from those experiences because you have to reprogram your mind and your subconscious and you have to understand exactly what's happened now this being said libra if this is not your reading you're like i don't know what you're talking about um go check out a different sign in your chart, okay? So moon, um, rising, Venus, if you're interested in love. But, um, and even if this isn't yours, that's fine. Like, um, <laughs> I'm pulling in for, I hope there aren't a ton of you that are going through this, but this is not a good cycle at all, okay? But look at this, the end of a tough cycle approaches. I don't understand that don't let pride get in your way unless you've been too proud to admit what's going on, okay? Um, I think this is a way more common scenario than what we want to admit, okay? So somebody's messing with you and, uh, but you need to sort of surrender to the divine. And what I hear that is, is you need to sort of really go with any need to start to heal this could be a family member this doesn't have to even be like a love interest this could be somebody in your family this could be a co-worker because it affected your stability right so it doesn't even mean that it has to be um like a, a lover or a partner like that a romantic partner so Oh, guys, please also, what a strange time to do this. I always forget to do all the stuff that I'm supposed to because I really would love for my channel to grow and I love your support. So if you can give, click that like button and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. What an odd time in the reading to remember that, but I am sorry. But I do appreciate your support and your love. Um, so let's see where we go with this. Normally I try to say that stuff at the beginning just to get it out of the way. A lot of times people watch videos and they don't do anything with it. And um, it, it doesn't help support the channel really. So I do appreciate the love that you give me just by clicking that little thumbs up. It means a lot. Okay guys, let's see what cards came up because it's not wanting to... Um... <laughs> okay, so... You have to make a decision. So over this King of Cups and everything, this card came out sideways. It could be a Gemini that you're dealing with, but you need to make a choice. Okay? You, yeah, and this is this is very clear thing. You need to make a choice if you're going to move on and if you're going to start new, okay? Or if you're going to stay with this energy. This Queen of Wands in reverse. So the Queen of Wands in reverse uh, is very aggressive and impatient and demanding. Um, this is not, again, I'm pretty sure that this queen and king go together. It's the same energy. Um, but um, you need to move on, see if you're going to start a new beginning or else if you're going to keep this energy in your life. Uh, it's your choice, right? The lovers 
is about choices. It's about aligning with your values. And right now, I feel like the universe is just saying to you, it's like, well, don't let pride get in your way. Remember how I said, it's almost like you, um, it's almost like you feel, um, almost ashamed that this has happened. And I don't think you need to be. I think you really need to see that this actually is a way more common scenario than what we care to admit in our society these days, right? Because everybody wants to throw around mental illness. Yes, I, I get it, right? There is a lot of um, that being falsified out there, but I also think there's a lot of excuses being made for very um, emotionally damaged people that don't want to do their healing. And that's exactly what this is, but it's not your job to heal them. It's their job to heal themselves. Okay, guys? So can we please get some, uh, so let's keep the Queen of Wands and let's keep the Ace of Cups. Can we get outcome? Oh, I, saw, I thought I saw a card that was flipped over in here. Let's see. Yeah. You're suffering quietly. You're not telling anybody about this. You're, you're taking it all in. And I think that's where, again, it's that, that pride. Um, I think that you might realize that if you reach out, you'll find more support. Now, keep in mind, when you're in this situation, if you are talking to people who have never been through something like this before, just stop because they're not going to understand and they're going to try to sweep it under the rug, which is a toxic behavior as well. But it's also simply that they can't possibly extend ex understand what you've been going through okay so come on can we get some cards they don't want to say anything okay let's see can we get cards for the queen of wands please what is the outcome if they don't leave this situation whoa okay well they have a lot to say but we're not doing a whole hour-long reading that was just a little drop. Yeah. Deception and envy. So they're going to keep you in this cycle, obviously. Okay? They're going to keep deceiving you. They're very envious of you. Um, yeah. Look at this. Ace of Cups. Material and spiritual prosperity. You're going to be moving on. If you choose this new beginning and to move away from this situation, you're going to prosper. You're going to be okay. Okay? Um, but, however, if you choose to stay in this energy, deception and envy. Okay. You're going to completely still continually be lied to. They're going to be envious. They're going to keep you in this cycle. And it's, it's not a healthy place to be. Um, this is heavily emotional. Um, yeah. There's cards that want to... One more shuffle. Yeah, no more cards are coming out. Um, <clears throat> I said, okay, I'm going to take the bottom. I just said it mentally. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Stand your ground. Okay, this is the divine talking to you. You need to stand your ground, Libra, and you need to... Um, Find the ones that support you. It's going to be a very small circle, but it's going to be a fantastic circle. And see the ones in your life that may not understand, and that's fine. You put them aside for now because they don't have anything valuable to help you with. But um, you need to do what you can to relieve yourself of the situation. Um, you need to move on, right? You, you really do need to stand your ground. And... Um, and just know that better things are coming. Yeah, conflict and defeat, moving on, right? Solitude, right? That goes right in with getting with the divine. Yeah, you, you'll you be good, okay? You'll be good, Libra. Um, but you do need to make the choice to start to find that new path, okay? Away from whatever this is. And just make sure that you involve the right professionals as well to help you through this. 
so that you don't pull yourself back into this Queen of Wands, Reverse Queen of Wands and Reverse King of Cups energy. Okay, you need to figure out why that happened and move on. Okay, see you next time Libras. Love you.